Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco here and in today's video I'll be doing a Bitcoin technical analysis, also I'll be looking at Ethereum, XRP and Litecoin, also guys I'll be looking at some of the key altcoins I'm looking to trade, I've not really been trading altcoins in the past few days, there are a couple of ICX trade that I took but I've not really been looking to trade, also I'll be talking about some of the trade strategies that I'll be looking at. So guys without further ado let's get into the video. Also guys apologies for not making as many videos uh, past few days I've been away so I've not really been active on, on YouTube or Twitter so apologies for that I'm back now with some really good content, content and I've got some exciting news for you as well I'll talk about them at the end of the video so guys let's get into the video so Bitcoin guys um, the weekly time frame not much has changed sideways consolidation and if you zoom out and, and try to look at it from a from from a longer longer term perspective we're in a obviously in a bear market we're in literally potentially forming a bear flag and break down maybe a spike down and move up so it's not nothing's really changed guys on the longer term view in the shorter term view guys um some of my targets was um, I made a video about bitcoin breaking out and it potentially going up i had those uh predictions and targets this was the f first target the 618 I had some more potential targets as well but this was the main target we need to see Bitcoin get above this resistance before we can start being bullish so and it's not really been trade friendly zone as well if, if I was trying to scalp Bitcoin I would have lost money because these spikes I don't think I don't, I don't care who you are uh, you can't make money in these conditions and it's very very risky to trade but I do expect Bitcoin to break out we never see like one two three four five six almost you know six seven days of sideways consolidation so we are expecting a break soon so we'll see how that plays out but I'm expecting a Bitcoin break soon and we've had some um, I was, um, some bearish action on a Sunday which we usually have a, I talked about it on a Saturday Sunday we usually see a Bitcoin dump and um, there was potentially um, I was expecting you know maybe a dump here but it's holding now and um, my bias is to the short side but again I'll just let it play out because it's not is this zone is very choppy and it's not the trade friendly zone so that's Bitcoin guys Ethereum is the same I'll try to keep this video short because I've got some requests as well so these are some of the requests people have asked I'll try to go get through some of them but I'll try to keep this video to less than 20 minutes or I'll keep I'll put like keys then the or the order that I'm covering the coin so you can just go to the coin that you want to look at if you want me to cover coins email me or you can comment below and I'll try to look at your coins if you have any questions about my strategies or want mentoring you can email me at cryptorock.hotmail.com so guys ethereum guys ethereum is more maybe you know ethereum and litecoin went up further higher up so ethereum is potentially pulling back a bit more 618 level I was looking at for a bounce it's not really seeing that bounce so I think it could drop down to maybe this zone that I had 786 so my zone here is probably this zone that could drop drop down to and there's a you know the the daily moving average here as well so that's a zone that I'm potentially looking at for the you know the 50 moving average to catch up and then we we've got previous price action here as well so that is a level that we could potentially bouncing from but Ethereum looks like it's breaking down as well Litecoin is the is the coin that's been leading I've tweeted about this just now that Litecoin is still leading the way we had some nice price action in Litecoin but we we had that big dump as well so litecoin is not looking like it's going anywhere so we'll have to see for it to uh, if to see if litecoin breaks out i mean these are not trade trader friendly zone these are not part of my strategy so i'm not really looking to trade here uh, there was a potential entry here but you know the momentum meters weren't aligned so i didn't take a trade if you know my trading strategy of a pullback and a moving crossover that i always talk about but you will see some examples you know that was a really good entry uh, for litecoin and i you know that was a really really good entry and i talk about it in my previous litecoin 50 dollar video i've been talking about it since a month ago so that's litecoin xrp guys is not looking as good guys xrp I've, I've talked about it before it's not looking very good on xrp even with the great news of coinbase uh, adding xrp we've not really seen any follow through so when we don't see follow through in with such positive news it's not great again i'm not selling i'm not saying sell all your all your xrps now 
but if it breaks down below this uh, level then I, w I wouldn't be I wouldn't be holding XRP because as you can see guys but the potentially um, it's forming a big head and shoulders uh, but if it breaks this triangle I'm not really gonna look to huddle XRP and I like XRP long term but I'm, I won't be looking to huddle XRP so let's look at some of the coins the list that I've got so ICX is the only coin that I, I did trade a little bit uh, since I've been away um, I'll talk about some of the trades that I took at the moment it's not looking great um, it could potentially be breaking down um, so I won't be looking to trade XRP uh, ICX now um, you know maybe a head and shoulder so XRP guys a nice little entry was here it, we, we were consolidating consolidating we broke up we broke this resistance and the volume was looking really good there was increasing volume I think I entered um, entered around here for a nice little trade up in XRP in ICX and ICX has been quite good I exited a lot of it I think just here and and a lot of it here so I didn't really catch the old trade but again that was a nice little profit for me nice pullback to the moving average and it was a nice little trade um, in ICX that's one of the trades that I, I was I did take um, I spoke about it previously um, another trade was here this was a nice little trade here that I, this is a small percentage scalp that I took in ICX so these are the two trades that I've, I've taken um, since um, I think I've been making videos so I Six is good. BTT guys, there's a lot of BTT fans, and I'm not gonna lie, there is a potential entry in BTT here. Because if you look at it, the risk to reward here is really good. So you could, if you buy it here, it's like it would be a double bottom. There's resistance here, previous resistance, uh, sorry, previous support here. Even if you go there, uh, a small increase, the the risk to reward ratio is massive. Even if you just go up to there, it's an it's a nice little profitable trade here so I have bought some BTT here I've not exited yet if it doesn't break above here and it struggles then I might exit some but now I'll keep I'll keep hold of it guys it's not really a bad trade um, buying BTT here because the risk to reward is really really good so keep that in mind guys I know there's a lot of people um, that like this coin so that's a potential entry uh, again this is not financial advice please do your own research do not listen to me uh, I'm just talking about from my experience I'm not I'm not a financial advisor please do your own research but yeah that was a decent entry in BTT and um, ont ontology is another coin that I always keep an eye out for keep an eye out for ontology it, it's tight consolidation now and um, ontology could potentially be breaking out but again I'm not looking to enter it now but I, as you know guys these are some of the coins ontology um, are a raven coin um, Tron these coins get always seem to get a pump so keeping out for ontology as well I've not really drawn fib and a fib analysis but I think it could break up and get 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 back to those highs again next coin is BNB it's my favorite coin guys I've taken two trades that I've shared with you in my previous videos about BNB and BNB seems to be doing really really well so keep an eye out for BNB guys I took a trade there and um, I sold I think most of it there I took another trade here I'm still in this trade um because I took entry uh, my stop was below here actually but where did my stop yeah I think my stop was slightly above here so yeah that's where I entered guys BNB nice little strategy perfect strategy guys if you follow me guys moving average crossover a volume increase and yeah nice little strategy it did pull back to there I didn't buy again that would have been similar to a BTT trade you know um, bottom fishing play catching the bottom that could have been a trade but I didn't enter it that would have been a, even a better trade you know nice uh, big triangle uh, consolidation here on top of the moving average and boom that would have been another trade. Yeah, BNB has just been on fire, guys. And and today, guys, BNB, is, that's why I've posted it, is broken above previous highs as well, which is a big, big deal, guys. And and when Link did that, we, we made a lot of money on it. Could BNB doing the same thing? We'll have to see, guys. And if you're not in BNB now, I would look to, again, I'm talking about strategies. I don't think many people talk about this. It's free advice, guys. And, and hopefully, again, please do your own research. Do not just buy because I'm saying to buy. 
but these are some free really good advice and um, this potentially if it break pulls back to here and you see upward movement that could be a potential re-entry in BNB so that's BNB then IOST is a coin that we've been looking to trade I've not really keep been keeping an eye on IOST it's not really done anything really IOST we had that crazy move when we were talking about it in our previous videos uh, I'm sure I talked about IOST Um, I'm sure I talked about IOS in one of these videos. There we go, IOS. So it had a move, but it's not really. When when something breaks out and then pulls back, it's not really positive. So I'll get rid of IOS. Neo, what's Neo doing? Hmm, I don't really like it. If it breaks above there, yeah, potentially. That fake breakout is not something that I like. It's pulling back. That was our kind of moving average crossover. There's potentially an entry there. I didn't take it. I wasn't following it. That would have been uh, one of my entries if you guys follow me. So that would have been a strategy entry. But yeah. XVG. XVG, guys. This is a coin that I used to trade a lot. This made me probably the most, one of the most money making coins xvg made so much money on xvg um if you guys remember when john mcafee was posting it so yeah it, this had a massive massive pump today guys i've not i've not traded it but i'm just keeping an eye it's a 20 percent pump you can see the daily uh, technical analysis like people say technical analysis don't work resistance here 200 moving average the pump stopped nice target if you were looking to enter it I mean, look, people, these formations work. This kind of triangle. I know this is not exact science; it's more of an art. But you could see where it broke out of. If you were keeping an eye out for it, if you put like alerts on there, breaking above that, you enter and you make some decent money. So XVG, yeah, keep an eye out for XVG, guys. Maybe I look to play the pullback. It's already pulled back, and you could. I bet it's like the three eight two pullback. Where did it pull back? Okay, no, it didn't break up. But if you bought the 382 and you had a stop loss below the moving averages, you could have gained some money. But it dropped to the 50% mark. So, yeah, that's why um, it didn't really work there. That could have been it. If I was trading it, I probably would have waited for it to turn above um, a 382 level. So, yeah, you can see nice. Uh, like potential cup and handle so that that's where I would have been looking to buy uh, if I was trading uh, XVG and you could have gained 5-10% here it's a nice little trade in XVG there right poly is an another coin that I really like I should have it here poly these are coins that I'm that I like that I've traded. So I I traded Poly. I took an entry in Poly here, guys. You know how much I like Poly fundamentally as well. I exited here um, and then I, I kept half, and I think I exited at the pullback here, and then it went up. And you can see RSI divergence. I I might look to re-enter Poly again, guys. Um, where will I look at look to re-enter it? Would be kind of this zone. But I like Poly. I I actually hold all this coin. I've got some coins. That's a 618 level, yeah, that's a 618 level. I like this coin long term as well. So I, I do own some coin that I don't trade. So I've, um, this is a really good coin. RVN is it's on my list, guys. RVN just went on a ripper today. Um, you know, coins that pump. So RVN is a coin that pumped crazy uh, end of last year. It just pulled back, pulled back, pulled back. And now it's just gone on another crazy, crazy run. I've not been keeping an eye out for uh, RVN. Um, but you can see what just happened with RVN and it's just went on a ripper the past few days that our entry would have been here if I was keep uh, I missed RVN completely guys I would have let you guys know if I was trading it it's just too stretched out now I wouldn't I wouldn't get in I hate chasing um, rallies I don't like chasing um, when something runs away I hate yeah, I, I always tell people to not FOMO in because you—that's when—that's when you get burnt when you try to. What's happening to my chart? That's when you lose money and get burnt. 
So RVN, if you're looking for a re-entry, when something pumps this much, it usually pulls back and gives you another re-entry. It's gone above the 382 level as well. Wow. Yeah, it's in a. It's just going crazy, RVN. Maybe this this will be a resistance there. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out for RVN guys. If it pulls back, I might look to re-enter. But now it's it's not 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 the best time to get in. Right, some of the um, su rec um suggestions from my f subscribers and emails that I've had. So let's go through some of them. ETP. I'll tr oh, sorry, this video is going on too long. I might not be able to go through the full list. So I'll probably do a very longer term time frame. Yeah. It's not looking too bad. It might have ran without you though, my friend. If you're if you're in this a nice little trade from like the near the double bottom to the two three six range, nice little trade. But I wouldn't be holding it now. But yeah, if you if you did trade that, it's a nice little trade. Very nice trade. I wouldn't be holding it now, maybe because you know it's trying to hold above it. You could maybe have your stop loss below here and and see how it plays out. I wouldn't look to enter it here, but you know it is broken above and it failed. I don't like that fake out right at the two three six level. But no, nice little trade if you have taken it. BCPT. I don't. I've not heard of this coin. I don't think I've traded this coin. BCPT. Let's have a look. And if you were buying at the bottom, yeah, it is running. You can see like it's like double top now. It like it looks. If it pulls back and breaks out, I'd look to trade. But the daily moving at a 200 moving average is a very very strong resistance. I always keep an eye out for. So yeah, if it breaks above that, I might look to trade. Or if it pulls back, I might look to trade. But I wouldn't be trading it right now. It's not. It's not the worst coin. AST. Apologies, I'm doing very high level analysis. I'm not really going into them. So apologies for that. I like this slightly better because it's you can see it's trying to break above the 200 moving average, but it's failed twice. So you can learn from it, guys. Again, it's just a small lesson. If you look at the other one where it's it's not even gone through the daily moving average, this one has tried to break through it, but it's pulled back twice and it's closing below it again. So and the way Bitcoin is, guys, I'll, I'll be careful trading altcoins now. ETN, BTC, ETN. Is it, here? Is it Electronium, guys? Yeah, Electronium. I trade it on an exchange. You can't really um, chart it here, Electronium. You can't get it on Trading View. I'll probably I'll do it uh, another time for you. OST. This is probably the last one I'll do, guys. Apologies, because I don't want to make this video too long. This is slightly better because it's above the daily moving average, but it's too spiky, guys. I wouldn't. How can you trade it when it's so spiky? It's faked out. How many times has it faked out? If you enter at the bottom and kind of set alerts, and if it spikes up, you sell. That could be a strategy, I suppose. But yeah, it's just too spiky for me. One, two, three, four, five. See, it spikes so much, and these are probably what five, ten percent, twenty percent spikes. It's crazy, guys. <laughs> yeah, this is potentially a money maker because it's bottoming out. You can have your stop loss just below and see if it breaks out. But it's a risky trade. It's not my strategy, but it's up to you if you look to trade it. So, guys, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um. Have I just liked my own Twitter? On tweet, I'll close that. Oh, four tweet, four likes. Thanks, I got four likes on tweet. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any more questions, guys, you can email me at cryptorockethotmail.com. Like I said, I've been away, but this week I'm back. I'll be bringing some really good content. I'll be posting every Monday or Tuesday. I'll try to post a like a scalping strategy idea. Again, this won't be gospel. Please and analyze and back test. But every Monday I might do a back testing or trade strategy or scalping. Uh, strategy I post that I've learned ages ago tomorrow will be the first one so hopefully because few people have asking me on Twitter and 
couple of guys that are mentoring they have asked for it as well so I'll make a video a scalping trade strategy for you tomorrow so I hope you guys look forward to that and maybe I'll be creating a Facebook group as well so we can just talk about it because it's a lot easier to communicate it will be free guys don't worry it will be completely free but we can talk about it share our charts and work together to be better traders it will be really interesting and I'm looking forward to creating it so guys I hope you guys enjoyed that video um, if you have enjoyed it guys the standard smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button um, and also guys if you have not subscribed to my channel and turn on the notification button make sure you turn on the notification button and subscribe to my channel to potentially win $250 worth of XRP so thank you very much guys I hope you guys enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much